Hi guys, this is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at the Animal Emergency Center and specialty in Moorabbin. And I have an interesting case today, which is a, a shepherd dog, um, a Dutch shepherd that presented to me with uh, left forelimb lameness. And I, for the life of me, thought that this dog was going to have elbow dysplasia. Um, and so we did a CT scan, hoping to find or expecting to find a big fissure. And what did we find? But, um, I mean, expecting to find a big medial coronoid fragment. But what we did we find is that a really severe fissure, intercondylar fissure here. Um, so you can see that right there. And um, big fissure that it looks like, honestly, that this is hours from fracturing off. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in with an intercondylar screw and we're gonna put a plate on it as well uh, to repair that fissure. I'm just gonna come in and see if I can get more of the scan now because our PAC server is painfully slow editing the images, but um, bring it up again. Yep, so I've got a bit more of it here. Um, so now when we look down here, we can see quite a bit of periosteal reaction on the distal humerus, suggesting that that is very unstable We've got a fissure sitting right here, um, and then the fissure is extending all the way into that intercondylar space right there. And so our plan, again, is to go in with a headless compression screw and then probably a plate and repair that fissure before it has a chance to break. Um, I'm just going to come in and do a measurement so I know what size headless compression screw that I need to put in there. So it's measuring about 40 three millimeters, so I'll put in probably a 44. Um, so that's coming up now. We're, we're uh, on deck, ready to go to live stream that surgery. So really love to see you there. So I'm gonna, going to go ahead and end this live stream and um, we'll start the next one hopefully in about 20 minutes and we'll see you again soon.